Blind Date is the sixth episode of the first season of the Frasier reboot and I did enjoy this one. I feel like it maybe wasn't as good as the previous episodes but it still worked really well. So there will be spoilers from this point on as I discuss various aspects of the narrative. What I will say is that I missed David. I think David is a great character and I don't know how he would have fit into this if they tried to kind of shoehorn the character in there but I did kind of miss his presence in the episode. It starts off really well with the scenes in Mahoney's and we get those close-ups of the, the bottles of beer with Mahoney's written on it and it's just, it's always nice to get that little little nod to John Mahoney and, and Eve presents Alan and Olivia with with pamphlets for her play and I think another reason why this isn't one of my favourite episodes is because we didn't get that much of Alan and Olivia and I love them. I think they're amazing characters, they're really funny. What we got of them was pretty good. We basically see them in Mahoney's and then at the play but I wish we had more of them but again it's not that the episode needed more of them but I do feel like the episode didn't really have that much variety in it. And things did get a little bit thin as the narrative went on. The main narrative focuses on the fact that Eve has set up both Fraser and Freddie with blind dates. And one of the dates, June, arrives at Fraser's apartment. June is played by June Diane Raphael. And she's delightful. She seems to be really charming and a great match for Fraser. And then Freddie comes home and June seems to be a great match for Freddie. And it's not clear whose date she's meant to be. And throughout the bulk of the episode, Fraser and Freddy are, are trying to work it out. They can't get hold of Eve because, of course, she's on stage doing this murder mystery play. Loved her costume in that, by the way. And I honestly feel like that part of it was really interesting. Absolutely interesting because I was keen to see who the blind date was for. But I do think it ran on a little bit too long. I think they needed either something else to break that up a bit more or they needed to start that part of the narrative a little bit later. I feel like it just went on for a little bit too long. They did try and break it up, though. For example, bringing in Ida, played by Annie Abbott, uh, who I thought was really delightful and uh, very, very fun. Definitely a nice little bit of humour in a scene that was slowly starting to go a little bit stale. We also have Siobhan, played by Jacqueline Oberdoz, and... She was okay. We didn't really get to know that much of her. I think she came in at the right time. But at the same time, she wasn't that interesting as a character, mainly because we didn't get that much of her. I feel like the last couple of minutes of this episode were kind of dull, to be honest. I don't want to admit it because I love Frasier. I've been basically nothing but positive about this reboot. But it didn't have the most satisfying endings to both the main ending of the main narrative and then, of course, the final scene we have at the end with, with Eve and the play. That was fine. It didn't bother me, but it wasn't it wasn't that fascinating. So it's definitely not my favourite episode. I think for me, most of the comedy came from Olivia and Alan and also Fraser whenever he reacted to developments with the blind date situation. It is funny in places, but it's not the funniest episode Having said that, I didn't mind it. It's not a bad episode. I'd be happy to watch it again. But if I were to rank all of the episodes, which I might do once we get to the end, I think this one so far of the six that have uh, have streamed would be at the bottom. I'm also concerned that we're now six of ten episodes in and we haven't had a single cameo and my heart is breaking. I know there have been a couple of confirmed cameos. I don't know if they're just going to dump them all into one episode. I would kind of hoped they'd drip feed them, maybe have a cameo in one episode and then a couple of episodes without and then another cameo. But we'll see. I'm still crossing my fingers for some proper Cheers cameos. I've not heard anything. I've not really looked to see if there's anything because... I kind of want the element of surprise, but with only four episodes left, there's not much time left to get them all in. So we'll see what happens. Still hoping, even though I don't think it will happen, I'm still hoping they resurrect the Cheers bar set and Fraser would visit his old stomping ground. It's not likely. It's also very unlikely that Sam would still be running it and Norm would still be in the same place and everything would be different and it wouldn't be great, but I can dream. Either way, whatever happens going forward, 
this episode is not too bad. Blind Date is not my favourite, but I did still enjoy it.